Once hailed as heroes of the Ottoman Empire, the Janissaries' journey from glory to infamy is a tale as intriguing as it is dramatic. These elite soldiers, initially celebrated for their bravery and skill, gradually morphed into a formidable political force, often seen as the Empire's villains. Their eventual downfall was as startling as their rise. How did these esteemed warriors, revered for their loyalty and prowess, transform into a power so overwhelming that their destruction was deemed necessary? In the late 14th century, Sultan Murad I of the Ottoman Empire conceived a revolutionary idea that would alter the course of military history, the creation of the Janissaries. This elite military unit was unique, comprised of Christian boys from the Balkans recruited through the Devshirme system. These boys, technically considered slaves of the Sultan, were converted to Islam and subjected to rigorous military training, ensuring their absolute loyalty and unmatched skill in battle. Murad's strategic vision was clear, to forge a loyal and formidable army unencumbered by feudal allegiances or regional ties. Plucked from their homes, these boys found themselves immersed in an entirely new world at the school in Istanbul. Here, languages including Ottoman Turkish and Arabic were taught for communication and administrative purposes, religious studies in Islam to integrate them into the empire's predominant culture, and a range of academic subjects like mathematics, science, and history to broaden their intellectual horizons. Alongside this, they received rigorous military training, which included physical conditioning, combat tactics, and proficiency in weaponry, particularly in the use of firearms. This multifaceted education was designed to mold them into not just skilled warriors, but also informed and loyal administrators of the Ottoman Empire. Their graduation into the Janissary Corps signified their transformation into disciplined elite soldiers, embodying the military might and cultural ethos of the empire. In this fierce encounter, the young Janissary Corps, with their disciplined ranks and innovative tactics, played a pivotal role against the Serbian forces, showcasing their potential as a formidable military unit. Fast forward to 1453, under the leadership of Sultan Mehmed II, the Janissaries were instrumental in the epic-making conquest of Constantinople. Employing cutting-edge siege technology, including massive cannons and demonstrating unparalleled martial skill, they breached the city's legendary walls, leading to victory. The Janissaries were hailed as heroes by the populace, their martial prowess glorified in songs and stories that echoed through the empire. This admiration was not limited to the rank and file. It extended to extraordinary individuals like Koprulu Mehmed Pasha. Koprulu's transition from a military leader to a political one was marked by his appointment as the Grand Vizier in 1656, a position akin to a prime minister today. Janissary influence extended far beyond the military realm, shaping the very core of the Ottoman government. In a pivotal turn, the Janissaries began to abandon the Devshirme system by the late 16th to early 17th century, transforming from a merit-based corps to a hereditary caste. This shift diluted their original military effectiveness, as entry into their ranks became more about lineage than skill, and their training and discipline waned. The Janissaries began to exploit their power, engaging in trade and commerce, activities that were initially forbidden. By the 17th century, they had morphed into a privileged class, owning land and businesses. This newfound economic power translated into political leverage, enabling them to manipulate court decisions and influence governmental policies for their gain. Osman II ascended to the Ottoman throne in 1618 at the young age of 14. Realizing that the Janissaries had grown into a dominant political force, Osman II proposed the radical idea of disbanding the Janissaries and creating a new army. This plan, however, sparked a vehement revolt among the Janissaries, who saw it as a direct threat to their established position. The Janissaries, supported by other disaffected elements in the empire, arrested Osman II. They then installed Mustafa I, Osman's mentally unstable uncle, as the Sultan. Osman II was subsequently murdered in prison, marking a tragic end to his reign.
When Sultan Mahmud II ascended to the Ottoman throne in 1808, he embarked on an ambitious journey of modernization across the empire with a keen focus on revamping the military. Recognizing the need for a more contemporary and efficient army, he meticulously built a new force in secret, training them in European military techniques. This move was a strategic preparation for a looming confrontation with the Janissaries, who had become a formidable and often obstructive political entity within the empire. By 1826, this tension came to a head when Sultan Mahmud II announced the formation of this new army, igniting a revolt among the Janissaries who saw their power being threatened. In response, the Sultan executed the auspicious incident, a decisive and brutal crackdown on the Janissaries. Besieged in their barracks, the Janissaries were trapped as the buildings were set ablaze, leading to a catastrophic end for the corps. The story of the Janissaries in the Ottoman Empire follows the cycle of hard times create strong men, strong men create good times, good times create weak men, and weak men create hard times. These elite soldiers started as a powerful force, making the empire strong. But as they gained power and comfort, they became less disciplined, leading to problems and weakness within the empire. Their downfall, marked by Sultan Mahmud II's drastic actions, shows how success can lead to complacency and how change is necessary for survival. Their rise and fall remind us that power and success are always changing. 